Now we are going to prove the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Before stating the converse of the Pythagoras theorem, now let me recollect the statement of the Pythagoras theorem that is, in any right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. Uh, hypotenuse means here in a right angle triangle, that is the longest side. The converse may be uh, stated as in any triangle, square of the longest uh, side equal to sum of the squares of the uh, other two sides, then the triangle is a right angle triangle, right angle at the angle opposite to the hypotenuse. This way we can state the converse of the uh, Pythagoras theorem. Here we can state the converse of the theorem. In any triangle, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. We have to prove this theorem. Converse is also true. This converse statement and the theorem, we can say, is proved by Euclid himself in the book one of the elements of his book, books, 13 volume book. And now, given that, uh, uh, what is the given in ABC? Uh, triangle ABC, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Uh, and uh, to prove that, angle B is 90 degree. We have to show. Now, construction. What is the construction to be made now here? is draw a triangle PQR, a new triangle PQR, a right angled at Q such that PQ is equal to AB and QR is equal to BC. In this fashion, we can construct a right angled triangle PQR shown in the figure here. A PQR where PQ is equal to BAB and QR equal to BC right angled at uh, Q. And uh, therefore, proof we have to prove here. And uh, now, in a triangle PQR, uh, angle Q is equal to 90 degree by the Pythagoras theorem, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. Let me call this as a equation number one and uh, since by construction PQ is equal to AB and QR is equal to BC and therefore I will replace PQ and QR by AB and BC that is PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square let me call this as a uh, equation number two and now here also it is given that that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square this is given in the statement of the theorem. That is, uh, let me call it as a equation number 3. And therefore, from equation uh, 3, uh, it is there. Therefore, by equation 2 and 3, from equation 2 and 3, we have PR square equal to AC square and hence this implies PR equal to uh, PR equal to AC 
and from the triangles uh, from triangle ABC and uh, triangle PQR we have AC is equal to what is that PR which you have proved and uh, let me call this is a 4 from 4 and uh, AB equal to PQ by construction and uh, BC is equal to QR again by construction and therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by SS criteria SS criteria in for congruency and hence uh, angle B is equal to angle Q but angle Q equal to 90 degree and therefore angle B is also 90 degree this is by construction and therefore triangle ABC is a, a right angle triangle So, once again, uh, I would like to uh, restate the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. In any triangle, the square of the longest side equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the triangle is a right angle triangle. That is what we have proved now.